Hello everyone, welcome to Mr. Eastland Plays. Um, I'm Mr. Eastland and uh, we're going to be playing Fire Emblem Three Houses. It is right here. Um, I'm very excited to play this game. I'm going to just jump right in. If there's issues with the audio, let me know. Um, as you can see, I got a new camera. Uh, I got for my birthday and it has a uh, chroma cast, which takes out the background. So I can just sit here as myself and uh, you don't have to see anything behind me. So uh, it's a little choppy and I also have it in a new place. So uh, it's on top of my TV rather than my computer. My computer's over here. So normally when I'm playing, I'm like looking this way, but now I'll be playing and I'll be looking almost exactly at the camera a little bit below um and if i need to check anything on the computer it's gonna look like this it's gonna be looking this way um so yeah i'm pretty excited for this new technology i also today thanks to uh oops expansion has been applied okay good um uh sweet okay very nice very nice um Thanks to Sharkbait, uh, on, uh, who subscribed in my last stream, um, a frequent subscriber, good friend, uh, he helped get me a new microphone that I've been talking about in the previous streams. Uh, it's a Blue Yeti. Um, can't really see it. It's being cut out. There we go. Uh, I can be using this uh, if I have guests. And it's an omnidirectional mic, so I can have... Thanks. Uh, yeah, it looks nice. It's heavy. Uh, so when I have guests over, we're playing. Um, you can go. Uh, we can use the same uh, voice channel. Rather than try and figure out like using Discord through like a Apple headphone mic, it it wasn't great. Uh, but now we've got something a little bit different. Uh, I'm probably not going to use it for just myself. Uh, but I'll definitely use it when there is more than one voice to capture. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I can play through a good deal of this game, I think, on stream. Uh, we'll see how it goes. My goal is to get to the part where you have to choose the three houses or have to choose which house you're going to pick out of the three. Um, so we'll get an introduction to the characters. And I pretty much made my decision, but you'll find out when we get there. So, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to be doing normal. I think I will might do hard if I like the game and I want a little bit harder difficulty. But uh, I'm going to do normal. And I'm also going to do classic. Fallen units are lost forever. So, let's not kill anyone. That's kind of our goal for for the stream. Uh, no, no deaths, please. Um... Uh, connect to network and play online? Sure, why not? Okay. <laughs> well, guess we're not playing online. Whatever. I uh, can connect. Uh, okay. Yeah. Look at the little, uh, little pixel art in the corner. All right. Oh boy. Some of these cutscenes are pretty, pretty cool. The game's a little quiet, let me know. But my levels look pretty good. Ooh, that is a pretty epic sword. That guy looks uh, like he's not a good dude. Oh boy, there's more of them. <laughs> Things are heating up. Uh, you might want to do something serious. Um, people are coming for you. Oh, she angry.
Oh boy. What a, what's her weapon? Just a little rapier? That, uh... He's got, like, Ivy's weapon from Soul Calibur. It turns into a whip. Who's going to win, guys? Make your predictions. My money's on the chick. Oh, just barely missed. Woo! Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Smacked in the face. Tell me, Alexis, do you recall the Red Canyon? You died. You died. You Ooh. Died. See, I knew she'd win. She had it in the bag. Everyone just staring at her. No, there's not a war going on or anything. You can, we can just watch them fight. This code is all busted. Well, that was interesting. Uh, pretty sure she turns into a dragon. Just, just putting that out there. If I know anything about Fire Emblem. Um, cool games, actually. I like playing games, so that's why I'm here. Uh, oh. My apologies. Uh, your name? I wish to have a look at you. Uh, sure. Oh, now I get to choose. Uh, no character creation, unfortunately. Um, kind of sucks. But oh well. Let me keep my. Hold on. Let me. Uh, let me do this. Uh, yeah, I'll stick to this format on my monitor. Yeah, this is good. Okay, so I'm going to be a dude, um, unlike Splatoon, where I like being the, the female. Um, I can be playing as the male character. Uh, gotta be, gotta be Mr. Eastland here. Uh, that form is correct. Yes, it is. Hmm, I have not seen the likes of you before. Who are you anyway? Oh, um, uh, I'm a I'm a mortal. I'm, last time I checked, let's see, not a ghost, um, not a demon. I guess I'm a mortal. Oh, here we go. My name is. You can call me Mister. Uh, oops, I need space. There we go. Uh, oh, oh, are you serious, uh, Mister East? You only have eight letters. Sure, 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 sure. We'll take the mister out. People can just call me Eastland. All right. Yes, it is correct. Huh. I shall not ever grow accustomed to the sound of so many names. Why? What's your name? I possess a bit of birth as well. 
which moon and on what day were you born to this world? Uh, it's going to be under the blue sea moon on the 22nd day. That's my birthday. If you watch my birthday stream, I streamed on the 22nd. Um, it was a lot of fun. So you can check out the VOD on that over at youtube.com slash Mr. Easton Plays or uh, twitch.tv slash Mr. Easton Plays for another week. Um, or if, friends, if you're friends with me on Facebook, I think you can find the video there too. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. Oh, wow. That is very strange. It's a good day. Oh, well, don't let me keep you. Uh, what are we beginning? Hold on, let me, let me change. Oh, and she's asleep. Of course she is. Am I gonna, gonna give me some information about what's going on or? Just gonna be fending for ourselves here. Time to wake up. Are you having that dream again? Uh, streaming about a young girl. You've described her to me before. And I don't think I've ever met anyone like that. In any case, just put that out of your mind for now. The battlefield is no place for idle thoughts. That is your very true. Is part of the job for mercenaries like us. Letting your mind wander is a sure way to get yourself killed. We can't have that. Let's no dying here. Okay, Remember, time to get no moving. death in this place. Our next job is in the kingdom. I told you Sounds before, good. it's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. Well, that sucks. Uh, I don't know what this means. I'll go with, uh, of course, yeah. No. Yeah. Everyone is already waiting for us outside. Gerald, sir, sorry to barge in, but your presence is needed. What's happened? Please forgive our intrusion. We wouldn't bother you with a situation not dying. Hey, it's our protags. What do a bunch of kids like you want at this hour? We're being pursued by a group of bandits. I can only hope that you will be so kind as to lend your support. Bandits? Here? It's true. They attacked us while we were at rest in our camp. We've been separated from our companions and we're outnumbered. They're after our lives, not to mention our gold. Claw, oh my gosh, Claw, I recognize Claude's voice actor. Is he the same? He must be the same voice actor as uh, like the dub for uh, Sasuke. And uh, he's also in Bayonetta, the first I'm one. I'm impressed you're staying so calm considering the situation. I, great. Bandit spotted just outside the village. Damn, there are a lot of them. Freaking bandits. Followed you all the way here. We can't abandon. Classic you. fodder. Come on, let's move. Hope you're ready. I was born ready. Let's do it. So, let's see what we got. Oh, um, yeah, I'll just go to regular file one. Let's do it. I right, look, the guy's doing the disco in the corner. Can I can I move him? No. Oh, here we go. A skirmish at dawn. Uh, game audio pretty quiet. Okay, yeah. Good. Thanks for the thanks for the update. I'll I'll turn that up. Ooh. That's definitely louder. Let's take care of those thieves before they overrun the village. Is that good? Uh, a, it's, a, it's Richard. All oh, right. Let's see if I can. Yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. Let's do it. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks, guys. All right, let's take care of these thieves before they run the village. Here we go. Take down the enemies in front first. That 
should take the wind out of their sails. Sagt nie mehr, okay? Ja, ja, okay. Uh, I'm gonna just attack him myself. Cool. Uh, yeah, there's a uh, weapon will break. Okay, so they got like different weapons. We've got axe, lance, and bow as these guys. I'm gonna put this guy up here. No weapon triangle to worry about. Yeah, get out of here. Uh, okay. Battle menu, battle phases. Yes, got it. I am not a newbie to this game. Um, let's move up. Oh, okay. Their hit rate is reduced as range increases. Okay. Ready and willing. Oops. Uh, let's here. Oh. We'll advance while protecting ourselves from the enemy. Take up position inside the forest. Oh. Terrain effects. Terrain effects. Will affect, uh, forest, for example, reduces evasion and defense. Perfect. Cool. Well, it's the forest. Okay, so I'm gonna move her here. Yes, good. And there's yeah, thickets and heel tiles. Perfect. Yeah, I've got it. Um, I can't move him. Hold on. Uh, they can't hit except for that guy. He can hit like that square. So let's put this over here. Put him in this forest, and I'm gonna move him as close as possible. All right, here we go. So yeah, he's gonna attack. Ha! You missed. You dingus. Come for him. Very good. Very good. All right, I should be able to handle these guys. Combat arts. Uh, use more weapon durability, do not allow for follow-up attacks. Um, units learn new combat. Okay, there are no combat arts for reason or faith. Okay, cool. Let's see, how should we take care of this? I'm gonna go ahead and, oops, not talk. I'm gonna attack. Uh, yeah, out. So combat arts is with the triggers. So you smash, pretty much it. But I don't need to use a combat art because I'm just gonna smack him. Bye. Well, how was that? All right. Eh, not bad. Gain magic, but no strength. I'm gonna go ahead and. I think I'll finish this guy off here. Okay, just a one hit. I must stay focused. Bye. And then you are gonna go up one Oops. and attack. Iron bow, no follow up. Uh, what's to hit? Ninety four. Yeah. Bye. All right. And then I'm going to end it, moving myself. I don't like how talk is the first option. I keep wanting to like press A and I keep hitting talk. No, I want to. I want to battle. I don't want to talk. No talks here. Um, yeah. We're good. Very good. That is that. That is that. Very very astute observation. Okay. Using items. Hey, look, there's enemies over there. Why are there mercenaries in the village? Guess we'll have to deal with them too.
What do you gotta save? Oh, he's gonna move. Okay, cool. Uh, an item icon. Get an item. Okay. Um, so he gives us a chest key. Uh, they're gonna move themselves to go into the forest, so I'm gonna beat them to it. First, I'm gonna move her. Hold on, let me check to see where they're, uh, yeah, they can't hit. Okay. Just making sure. His range looks a lot further. Um, oh, ZR's danger area. There we go. Huh, interesting. Okay. Well, I will move myself then first. Oh, can I not go into here? That's kind of a bummer. I can move him to the forest. So that's what I'm going to do. He's going to uh, take a lot, a lot of hits. That's okay. Move him over here. All right, and last, put him next to. All right, yeah, we're good. So he's gonna get kind of, kind of bombarded. I'm gonna kill you where you stand. Are you sure about that? Yeah, that's that's what I thought. Pretty sure that's how I expected it to go. Ah, uh, see, they moved away. Huh, interesting. All right. Uh, you get support, yeah, LinkedIn, uh, when you're... Okay. Yeah. yeah. Always keep units close to each other. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead... Can I wrap around? I'm gonna go and... Hmm. I don't want him to get the kill, necessarily. Uh, attack. Ah, it's not gonna kill. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Let's attack. Actually, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna have him move here. And then attack. There. Um, yeah, that'll be good. Haha, <laughs> -ha, bye. Good job, Dimitri. Okay. And then now I'm going to take care of this guy. Um, yeah, that'll do it. Ha! See ya. Very good. Hey, I got that iron axe. Nice. Was that it? I wanted to kill the rest of them. Oh. Got some time stoppy powers. Some timey wimey magic. Honestly, what are you accomplishing with that little stunt? It's like you're trying to get me killed, you fool. Me? Her? Oh. Well, it's fine. After all, if you don't know the value of your own life, you're not going to protect it very well, are you? Of course not. <laughs> I'm pretty sure yeah, I value my own life pretty well. To guide you from now on, right? If you want to, you go right ahead. Me Sophus. Hi, Sophus. I'm also known as the beginning. Beginning of what is my question? Hmm. Sophus. Yes. Sophus. That is it. My name is Sophus. Okay, Sophus. I am also called the beginning. But 
who once called me that? Uh, what are you talking about? I was not able to recall my name until just now. Okay, just like that's that weird. Came to me. How odd. That Don't ask me. Face. Did you think me a child? A mere child who forgot her own name? I don't know what to think right now, lady. That child just saved your life. And what does that make you? An idiot, probably. <laughs> uh, I'm less than a child? Correct. You understand. Then that makes me not a child because I understand. I'm confused. Okay. You threw yourself before an axe to save just one young girl. Yep, sounds about right. All is well, as I have stalled the flow of time for now. You would have died had I not intervened. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you. Appreciate it. There now. Is gratitude so much to ask? I did deem you worth saving after all. Though uh, it is only again, thank you. Time has stopped. However, did I manage that? I I don't know. Uh. <laughs> what now? When you stop time, great. Again, the axe will tear into your flesh and you will surely meet your end. Great. Sounds sounds uh sounds great. Who told you to drag me into this? What? Well, I didn't do anything, okay? You're the one who saved me. Uh, I thought you had a plan. You. Uh you don't forget to save. I'll just stay here and wait to die. Uh let's turn back the hands of time, because that sounds like a good thing to do. That's it. means you can protect yourself this time. Now go. Let's do it. Yes, you who bears the flames within. Drift through the flow of time to find the answers that you seek. Okay. Let's do it. Warp. I should have done that the first time. Hey, over here. Huh? Of course, I protect the lady. Come on. She's a very strong woman. I'm sure she could protect herself. Hey, did you just uh, parry that guy's attack? Is what I did. The knights of Seros are here. We'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. Uh, we took care of it. The thieves are running away. Go after them. Already done. We're good. We're good here. We're good here. The students seem to be unharmed. And who's this? Uh, I am Mr. Eastland. How are you doing? Hold on. Let me let me double check that I'm running here. Should be running. Uh, why him? Only five turns. Easy. I'm the MVP, of course. Captain Jolt? It is you. Goodness, it's been ages. Don't you recognize me? It's Alois, your old right hand man. Oh, the well, buddies. Oh, I always thought of myself anyway. Oh, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. You haven't changed a bit, Alois, just as loud as ever. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. Looks like he dropped out of the whatever These nights days, I'm just of a wandering mercy. Whatever it is. One who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. Right. Goodbye, Captain. Bye. Wait. That isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Do we Very have to? Monastery. 
I suppose this was inevitable. And how Probably. are you, kid? Are you the captain's child? Uh, I don't know, actually. <laughs> I'm a bandit. Um, uh, I'm assuming that's correct. Is that so? Well, physical differences aside, your mannerisms do remind me of the captain. I'd love for you to see the monastery, too. You will join me, won't you? If I have to. <laughs> you aren't about to run off again, are you? He's Even like, ah, I don't want to deal with this. The Knights of Saros. Yeah, it looks like we're going. They do seem rather skilled. Is she in my head? Get, what? You talking to me? Oh, it seems your presence is required. Get going. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my mom. I got my dad here, right? He can tell me what to do, I guess. I appreciate your help back there. Your skill is beyond question. You're clearly an experienced mercenary. And your father, that would be Geralt, the Bladebreaker? I like that nickname. Born the Bladebreaker. The Knights of Saros, oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed wow. anything? I'm of uh, good blood, apparently. <laughs> I didn't know it was Captain. Uh, I can choose that. He probably didn't talk about it much. How curious! I'd wager the explanation for that is fascinating indeed. I'd wager that too. Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? Of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers Academy at Garagmok Monastery. Good to meet you. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. You did? You were the only one that was not injured, if I remember correctly, from that previous battle? Pretty sure the other two guys actually got hit and you didn't. That would be because you ran off. Ah, that makes more sense. Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. Gosh. Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. It's all their so fault. That's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His ah. intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. <laughs> you will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you are. Ooh, alive. sick burn, Dimitri. You really showed her. Oh, joy. A royal debate <laughs> between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. Wow. <laughs> Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Me, naive. Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet? Or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? Ooh, I didn't know this was a roast of the three houses. I guess that's why they call it Fire Emblem. Am I right? That deserves a. In any case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. It showed me I still have much to learn. Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. Dang, I'm she's hard in on the recruiting. I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire. Halt, Edelgard. Please allow me to finish my own proposition. Ooh, cutting in. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Looks like I'm a hot commodity. Please, do consider returning to the kingdom with me. Whoa there, you two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. And get ready for Claude. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. Ha! Huh. Oh, but you were planning on begging for favors. Gotcha. But it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Hmm. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to you. <clears throat> Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well... Uh, 
I get to choose now. Um, I'm gonna go with Aldrestian Empire or Ad Adrestian? Yeah, Adrestian Empire. Yeah. <laughs> A wise choice. Though the Empire has fallen from its former glory, the other regions are merely offshoots that pale in comparison. All right, that's enough with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. I Looks guess. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique. Is that so? Um, I guess I'll think about the chick. Oh, I get to go to all of them. Sincere. Darkness looking beneath. Ooh, that's intriguing. Yeah, he's a little yes, deceitful. I the same. Ooh, I am so sleepy. What's here? Wake up. This is class time. Class is in session. Oh, good night. I hope it's comfy in my head. Maybe I can, if you imagine really hard, he can conjure up a cot and some pillows or something. Part All right. White clouds. Great tree moon. Three houses. Okay. We're done with the prologue. Is this chapter one? The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Vogland, heralding the start. Oh. As they celebrate the, oh, this is year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. Mm. Well said. The continent of Fogland, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Okay. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south, lies a region long held by a more than 1,000 year old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Vargas, ruled by the royal family and its knights. The Holy Kingdom. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor Wildlands of the east. what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, well, and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. Why well, ain't that nice? I wonder how long that'll last. Let me hang out this with the kids. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. I really got a blank stare on my face. <laughs> there it is, the monastery. There it is. Garrick Mock Monastery. That's what I said. It does look like Hogwarts. <laughs> Well, they're both s schools, I guess. I mean, one's obviously more religious than the other. Hey, eyes on your own paper. I saw her stab someone. I wonder, did the flow of time bring you here? Doesn't the flow of time bring us everywhere? 
technically. I mean, isn't that how time works? It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now. Uh, uh Hmm, who do I, what do I want to know more about? I want to know about her. You her? saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Ah. Uh, Lady Rhea. As you know, the majority of folks in Fodman are devout followers of the teachings of Sarah. Yes, yes. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Powerful woman. Thank you for your patience, Jack. My name is Seteth. I am an advisor to Seteth? the Archbishop. Seteth? Seteth? Right. Hello, Hello. Seteth? It has been a long time, Jim. I wonder... Was it the will of the goddess that we have another chance leading like this? Forgive my Damn. silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. Had a so child, obviously. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. Yep. That is your child, is it not? Yes. For many Don't years look after much like I left it. this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child. But I'm afraid we lost her to illness. No! Mom! <laughs> mother! I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? Uh, my name is... A fine name indeed. Eastland. Mr. Eastland, if you don't mind. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students at the Officers Academy. My pleasure. They seem like great people. Though they don't Sarah, get along with each other. You already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked for uh, I'm pretty sure he did. I must step away for now. But I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, farewell. Adios. Nice to meet you. Forced back into the Knights of Seros. I'm sorry Oof. I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. What? Me? You got me roped into this? Into this? What? Uh, as a mercenary? Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. Gosh! Be a teacher. Heard those brats earlier <laughs> I'd never want to be a teacher. Academy, right? Well, the academy just happens to be short of professor. Oh, well, ain't that convenient. And apparently, that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. <sighs> so, you must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. Wow, that's quite the introduction coming from a uh, co-worker. No, <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. Good luck. Okay, bye, Dad. And watch out for Lady Rhea. <gasps> I don't know what she's thinking, making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. She's a woman of faith, though, right? Oh, okay. it's you, then? So young. Mm, yes. Competence and age are not necessarily ha. correlated. As you well know. That is very true. I'm going to take a capture of that one. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated. Remember that. I am Hanneman, a Crest Scholar and Professor at the Officer's Academy. Hello, sir. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit. I don't think I have a so crest. I'm a commoner. Subject further. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. It's nice to meet you. Well, when you say you're single in your introduction... Ha! <laughs> uh... You're a songstress? Of course. Before I came here, I belonged oh, to a wow. renowned opera company. Perhaps you've heard of me? The Middlefront Opera Company is beautiful, peerless. Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuela. Now then, 
It seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. Okay, fair enough. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? Do you really not know? Uh, I guess Fine. not. I'll do you a favor and explain. Please do. The Officer's Academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. Got it. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Their house this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. Wow, important woman. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Farkas. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next king of Farkas. And of course, another noble. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan. The leader of the alliance. Oh. Another noble. They're all nobles. To think that the next emperor, king, and sovereign duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the academy. It sounds like it. I'll say. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. I would not be so sure. Hmm. Quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the academy to get your bearings. When you have a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. The old Will man do. has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. So people don't know who I, I am. Just okay. try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. True of any school, to be honest. Always some odd ducks, but I'm for sure the most Lady part, they're good Maya kids. I'll have more information for you tomorrow. That should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. They're all good kids, no but good luck. Mind, Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy is... <sighs> Competence and age have no correlation, Sedith. I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is probably no need. That stranger is Geralt's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Geralt character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remember wow, that long time. Flame is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamim. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious, suspicious individual. We huh? cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Beric Mach. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Okay. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. You can trust me. I'm a good guy. I just got, you know, a, a uh, little, a ch not a child, but looks like a child in my head who thinks that she's better than me and tells me what to do. So if that's not a concern, then I think we're good. As long as you're not concerned about voices in, in people's heads, I think we'll be okay. How does that sound? Cutscene time. What we got? Ha! Ah, it's the Fire Emblem theme song. Da 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 There's Black Eagle House. And it looks like the blue lions are chilling outside.
Schwa. Sweat from the face. Maybe it's Maybelline. Well, everything looks hunky dory so far. Okay. What's my first task? I assume you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers Academy, correct? Yep. To start, please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the Academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That is your first task here at the monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Once you have sure. finished, come and speak with me. Okay, got it. May I so, ask a favor of you? Uh, yep. Okay, quests. All right, we're off. So it's April twenty-third. Oh, Sedith. Hey, Sedith. I imagine you were a bit surprised that I recommended you as a professor here. Frankly, we uh, had a little someone bit. else in mind for the role, but they ran off during our dust-up with the bandits. Can't you trust students to someone who's abandoned them once before? Huh? <laughs> I'll say. You saved the lives of the students you came across. That, at least, was admirable. Now, you should make the rounds. Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. Sure thing, Sedith. Uh, oh, gotta click that. Okay. Time to meet some people. Okay. I wonder when we get the sorting hat. Oh wait, it's Harry Potter. My bad. Hello, Edelgard. Pity? Pity so what? So you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hressfeld. Von what? Hressfeld? Is that what you said? I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. I wonder okay. if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I hope I you had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? Uh, sure. Oh, look, I got like a little list of things. Um, I'll start with you. Me? Well, some think I'm a bit distant. Arrogant, even. But there's hmm. little to be done. One day, I must rise to become Adrestia's next emperor. What else? Well, it seems to me that we may have similar personalities. Really? Do we know? Uh, okay, cool. What about Hubert? What's he like? Hubert is the heir of Marty Vestra. He has served me since I was a child. You may think his blood runs a bit cold, but <laughs> actually that's rather accurate. Still, if you can get past that, you'll see he's quite astute and reasonable. Okay. Very cool. What about Ferdinand? For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rival and is always trying to challenge me. It's terribly irritating. His house is that of Duke Ivan, which produces Adrestia's prime ministers. That family is As, uh, perhaps too pleased with its own status. It's got, got all that privilege. He's remarkably intelligent, but he only wishes to apply himself to tasks that particularly interest him. And nothing else. He's also fond of... A well, little a little sleepy now, boy. If he had any work ethic or sense of duty to speak of... I like his I defining ability as a catnap. <laughs> Alright. Casper. He's the second son of Count Hercules. He has no inheritance in his future, which is perhaps why he's always so eager to prove himself. Oh, plucky young fella, huh? He's overly energetic and rushes headfirst into any battle. If he ends up in your camp, be sure to uh, Ah, he's that around. student with ADHD. I know what they are. They can be good for she's errands and uh, put him to put him to good use. Eccentric, but she seems like a gentle soul. I believe she's really she short. herself away in her quarters and doesn't care to leave. But don't worry, I'll make sure she finds her way to class. Few commoners have joined the Black Eagle House. 
A commoner. Is an exception. She's a songstress from a famous opera company in the Empire. Songstress. I'm not entirely sure what brought her to the Officers Academy. I hope she can do more than sing. And finally, Petra. To the west of Bodlin is an archipelago called Bridget. Petra is the granddaughter of their king. Hmm. Bridget is a vassal state. She's of the Europe, island girl. Which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart and studious. Very cool. All right. Well, that's that's that. Uh, where else should I go? Where's the next? Hi. Who are you? Hello there. Greetings. You must be the new professor. What a pleasure. As for me, my job is to stand here at this glorious entrance and leisurely watch over the comings and goings of everyone. Uh, and by that, I mean to vigilantly <laughs> guard this entrance with my very life. No yeah. whatsoever. Good, good job. Keep keep doing that. I'm going to go this way. Because that's what I can do. So this is the courtyard. Ah, and they're in their... Uh, all the students are in the classroom. Excuse me. I spotted Claude. Yeah. And it's Kitty. Can't can't pet the cat. <laughs> okay. Uh, blah blah blah. Here we go. There he is. Hey, scored a teaching gig, eh? Yeah, I did. Well, well, scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. <laughs> I, guess I guess so. That means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude von Regan. Another Vaughn, huh? I'm from the ruling house of the Lester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. Okay. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. <laughs> okay. Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's talk about yourself first. <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? As luck would have it, I'm pretty curious about you as well. But what's okay. life without a bit of mystery? Let's just spend the next year or so learning about each other little by little. Sure. Keeping it close to the vest, huh? He's the heir of Gloucester territory. If you haven't already picked up on him, he's a bit arrogant and fancies himself a ladies' man. That said, mm. deep down, he's okay. really devoted and honest. Though I wouldn't mind never hearing him talk about his noble obligations ever again. There's the... The arrogant prick of the bunch, just like in the other house. He comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. Oh, he's an orphan. Seems like he's had a rough life. Goody basket. Nice. Despite all that, he's just about the most cheerful guy you'll ever meet. His passions are training, eating, and nah, actually, that's about it. He's a hungry boy. He's the second son of a merchant family. Since his brother will inherit the business, he's trained to become a knight. A little scrawny to be a knight. Doesn't seem like he truly wants to be a knight. He's probably mm. just doing it to please his parents. High expectations. I hear that. I hear that. Lysithia is the daughter of Count Ordelia, and is probably the youngest student here. But watch yeah, out. She's very short. She gets angry if you treat her like a child. As for me, I do it on purpose. You have to make your own fun in this place, you know? Wow. Uh, double skill experience earned in battle? Dang. I might have to pick her up. She's a magic user, too. Nice. Marianne is Margrave Edmund's daughter. And that's pretty much all I know about her. Who's Margrave Edmund? She doesn't interact much with other students. So I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of folks here have never even heard her speak. The quiet one. Okay. Hilda is the only daughter of Duke Goneril. It seems her father and brother coddled her quite a bit. <laughs> she seems a little bubbly. If you look up lazy in the dictionary, her picture won't be there because <laughs> she never got around to submitting it. Dang, dude. Not too unusual for a noble, I guess. Uh, lazy bones, huh? No. Oh spoiled a little bit. A little naive. Leone enrolled because she wants to be a mercenary. I think she said that her father is a hunter. She's pretty blunt and as stingy as they come. A habitual saver, too. Nice. I think she's hoping to repay her village for helping the center. No weaknesses. Look at that. No weaknesses. I like her. Go 
Golden Deer does have some really good people. I like Raphael, I like uh, Lysithia, and I like uh, Leone. Yeah. Well, let's go see uh, Dimitri. Hi, Dimitri. Please accept my apologies for the other day. You came to our aid, yet I hadn't even the courtesy to properly introduce myself. It's all right, man. I am Don't worry about it. Alexandra Blathed. Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. So I've heard. Of course, at the Academy, I am simply a student. And I've heard word that you are to become a professor here. Delightful That's news. what I've heard all I still have much to learn, but I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance. In any case, welcome to the monastery. I hear Thank you're you. investigating the different houses here. Did any of the Blue Lions catch your attention? Uh, yeah. Let's, let's talk about yourself. Me? Oh, um... Please forgive me. It's difficult to open up on the spot, don't you think? I, uh, yeah, I can understand that. I'm afraid that. my story has not been a pleasant one. I do hope that doesn't color your view of me, but I understand if that can't be helped. It's not a pleasant one. Isn't he the prince, though? Should have a pretty uh, cushy life there. The Dewey. The Dew was born in Dusty the Dew. and has been loyally working in my service for the past four years. He's rather taciturn. Once you get to know him, you'll see he's a kind and good-natured young man. Okay. Felix is the heir to House Fraldarius. He has a bit of a sharp tongue, but don't let that fool you. Deep down, he's a good guy. I like the sharp he tongues. He toward people who are skilled. Perhaps you would enjoy a friendly competition with him sometime. Competition's always welcome, sure. He's the adoptive son of Lord Lenato of Castle Gaspar, but I hear he was born a commoner. <gasps> born a commoner. An extremely earnest personality, so I'm certain he will approach your lectures with great Aww. enthusiasm. He's just the nice guy. Oh, he's got lockpick too. Nice. Little bandit boy over here. Sylvain is the heir to House Gauthier. He is a capable person who highly values his friends. That said, well, he's always been a bit of a <clears throat> skirt chaser, so to speak. Skirt chaser. Pardon my bluntness. I speak with him about it often, <laughs> but it doesn't seem to help. Oh boy. Yeah, he's got that coat open. Ladies, over here. I hear she was born to imperial nobility, but a twist of fate brought her to the kingdom. She looks a little listless. She may seem carefree on the surface. But she's actually a kind soul who pays careful attention to everyone around her. Oh, those are nice words. Annette is Baron Dominic's niece. She is a talented student who scored extremely high marks at the Royal School of Sorcery. A sorcerer? Oh, she's got a rally too. She's cheerful and hardworking. Brilliant, really. Though she can be a bit oblivious at times. I hear she caused an explosion in the kitchen last night. Ooh, a little accident, friend. There's always one of those. And finally, Ingrid. What's she like? Ingrid is Count Galatea's daughter. She is also a childhood friend of Felix, Sylvain, and myself. Grant. Oh, okay. She is diligent, industrious, and principled. In truth, she is more knightly than most knights you will ever meet. Nice. I like her. No weaknesses again. Cool. Well, I look forward to stealing some of those. Uh, stealing some of those people from their houses and recruiting them. Nice. Uh, no, I'm gonna continue exploring. Okay. Uh, let's go talk to these guys. You're that mercenary. Ah, you must be the renowned mercenary who rescued Claude. Honestly, you should not have troubled yourself over the likes of him. Ooh. My name is Lawrence Hellman Gloucester. You will want to remember it. Okay. Hi. So Hi. You're the skilled mercenary who saved Claude, are you? I am. Oh, you are? It's such an honor to meet you. Ignaz Victor. My parents are Alliance merchants. And I am Lysithia von Ordelia. Please do not forget it. Okay, I'll do my best. Hey, are you that mercenary? Everyone's been talking about you. Have they now? I'm Hilda Valentine Goneril, and her name is... M Marianne von Edmund. Are 
she spoke. Joining the Knights of Saros or something? Well, I look forward to seeing more of you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Uh, over here. There we go. Are you someone's guest? The dining hall's that way, if that's what you're looking for. Uh. No, Raphael. That's Captain Gerald's. Kid. Yeah, thank you, Leone. Hi, I'm Leone Pinelli, Captain Gerald's first and greatest apprentice. I'm sure he's told you about me. J you are? No. Nice to meet you. I'm Raphael Kirsten. Who are you again? Um, I'm I'm Captain Gerald's kid. She's saying that. Ah, okay. Yeah, this is going to your home room. All right, so... Oh, they're on a line, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey. Hello. Hey there. Are you the mercenary who saved his highness? It's an honor to meet you. I'm Sylvain, Thanks, Sylvain. Jose Gautier. Feel free to say hi. Sylvain to Jose. You. All right. And who's this? You don't look familiar at all. Do you work here at the monastery? I do now. Oh, mercy. Do you think this is that mercenary people have been talking about? Now that I think about it, that does sound like something Dimitri may have said. I suppose you'll be enrolling at the Officers Academy uh, too, then? Uh, kind, kind of? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Mercedes, and this is my best friend, I'm Annette. It's nice Aww, to meet you. Aw, they're best friends. That's cute. Yeah. Ah. I like how they have pre-existing relationships. I've heard all about what you did from Prince Dimitri. As a citizen of Fargus, I thank you. He also you're said you're quite skilled. And he doesn't just say things like that. I look forward to sparring with you and beating you. Oh, Alex, boy. Must you always speak of fighting right away? Oh, and uh, you may call me Inger. Challenge accepted. It is a pleasure to make your Felix. And, uh, da, 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 da. okay. Yeah, there they are. Hi there. You must be the one everyone's talking about. I'm Ash. Great to meet you. This here is Dudu. He serves Prince Dimitri. I have heard that you rescued his highness. Words cannot express my gratitude. Should you ever require Serious my strength, boy. please know that I will hasten to repay this debt. Sure thing, boss. Hey, hey. Uh, let's go to the last house. I ain't a stranger Brother, anymore. This is no stranger. Our house leader owes this person a great debt. Is that not right? I am Ferdinand von Eyre, legitimate son of the Eyre family, the Empire's foremost house. Are, Are you, you now? To join our class? I look forward to getting better acquainted with you. Hello. Well, aren't you just lovely? Is this your first um, time in the monastery? I might be your teacher. You might want to. Might want to. Dial down the charm Hello. there. My name is Dorothea. Before I joined the Academy, I was a member of an opera company in the Empire. You should hear me sing sometime. Why are the songstresses the ones that are always super flirty? Is it true that you saved Edelgard? That's incredible. There we go. The name's Casper, I did. by the way. Pleased to meet you. Hi, Casper. Goodbye. Uh, bye. Jeez, Leonard. <laughs> How'd you get into the Academy with those manners? So, are you a student here too? Maybe we'll be in the same class. Uh, that's, I mean, we won't be in the same class necessarily. But. I am Hubert, a humble servant of Lady Edelgard. Hubert? I heard you Hello. the aid of her highness. You have my most sincere thanks. This is Petra. She has come all the way from Bridget to study in the Empire. Back on her archipelago, she is actually a princess. Oh, really? In Fodland terms, she would be called heir to the throne. Hello. I am called Petra. I am pleased to be meeting with... Uh, no. Uh, I am pleased to have met you. Okay, Petra. I suppose. I suppose... Time to go to the audience you chamber. Enjoying your time at the academy thus far. I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. It sure looks like it. Let's see if I can. Uh, nope. Hmm. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. I, I suppose so. I'm personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself wow. with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. Excuse me? 
I can take a fingerprint test. That's what the normal school districts do. But if you don't have that, I don't know what to tell you, man. The black eagles, the blue lions, and the golden deer. All so different. I mm -hmm. think you've made it a point to get to know each of them. I did. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining two houses. So I can choose one of these three, a house, uh, many of nobility, most of them use magic. This is chivalry and they excel at the military arts and they are skilled archers. I think decision time. I do like many of them from each class, but I think my heart's set on the Adrestian Empire and Pokemon Go, I'm team Valor, so, um, I, I was the red color. Red's my personal favorite color, so I'm gonna have to go with the Adrestian Empire for Black Eagle House. So you have chosen the Black Eagles led by Edelgard, correct? I have. Done and Your done. Your heart has made its choice then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. Always. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Bodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead. Okay, he said it. Brother? Oh, I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. I am in the middle of something, Flame. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly, who is this? This is our newest professor at the Academy. Hello? Oh my! A new admission to the Officers Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. Hi, Flame. I am Seventh's little sister. To make your acquaintance. You are much nicer than your uh, brother there, Flame. on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. What is that? In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress okay. of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Okay. Sure thing, boss. Let's get this thing going. Wait, so our new professor is you? I didn't see that one coming. Easy, Caspar. Aren't you being a bit rude? You know it's a waste of time to expect politeness from him. It will be a pleasure learning from you, Professor. Oh, well, that's nice of you, now, Lickhart. Excuse me, I'm off to take a nap. Uh, okay, bye. Lickhart, don't look at me like that. Oh, and please don't talk to me too much either. I will not call on you. Okay, bye. <sighs> I'm sorry for the chaos you've walked into. I feel That's we are quite all right. Close mage, professor. Uh, I hope awkward. You do not mind if we treat you like one of us. I do mind. I'm your professor. Come on. I mean, relatability and friendliness are things that you should do, but treat like one of us. And I don't know. We try to treat each other as equals. Despite any differences in age or status. Well, that's good. Personally, I would love to include you in that inner circle. Uh, I don't mind at all, I guess. You have a gut, Professor. I will take great joy from your teachings. I have a gut? I mean, I, I do kind of have a gut, but I didn't think that was one of my defining qualities. Petra? I believe you mean to say that our professor has uh, guts. There we go. That's a bit Thank you, Dorothea. That. Appreciate that. You can't go around saying someone so slim and attractive has a gut. Whoa, Dorothea. Oh, okay. Uh, please take my apologies. I have not yet mastered this language. That's quite all right, professor, Petra. I want you to know that it's perfectly acceptable for you to treat me as you do the others. I Will may do. be the Imperial Princess, but here at the Academy, I'm just another student. That said, know that I have high expectations of you, and high hopes. But I'm certain you can lead the Black Eagle House to greatness. Yes, ma'am. Sure, sure. Then let's break the ice with a training session. I want to see our new teacher in action. Why will the ice be broken? Is this <laughs> a custom I have missed in my studies? <laughs> oh, Petra, you're great. <laughs> I love that you don't get any of the... Uh the different terms that we talk about. Not 
real ice, just the ice of, um, well, it just means let's get to know each other. She is totally lost on the idioms, I and I love it. Let's stay in the classroom and learn from a book. Come on, that's not common core, Bernadetta. Let's all calm down and have a nice cup of tea, how about? Doesn't that sound lovely, Professor? Um, I mean, I don't think that'll help anything. Lindhart, wake, wake up. I know we all agreed to treat each other as equals, but there is a limit to what I can tolerate. Ferdinand, okay. The esteemed Black Eagle House requires order. Uh huh. Okay. Um. <laughs> Looks like your first job will be to quiet down this racket. I don't envy you. Need to get on my chimes. Uh, ding ding. This Everyone, be quiet. I do hope you can manage, Professor. I sure can. Let's get this thing going. What are we doing? Hey, look, healing. Got our, our disco friend in the corner. Load times in this game are a little long. There we go. I'm assuming this is oh, the new place to explore in the monastery. Very good. Cool. Oh, looks like we're doing something. Say, while you're here, I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest resides within you. Won't hurt a bit. Promise. Uh, okay. You don't know about crests. Well. Allow me to tell you everything, absolutely everything, about them. Is your calendar clear? This will take a while. Uh, I kind of got a, a thing uh, in a little bit. Um, I'm going to go. Crests are a fascinating topic. Oh, but okay, I guess we're here. one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate <laughs> they are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago they exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines there's something physical those who carry crests may excel at magic display exceptional strength or any number of boons hmm interesting each crest has its own power the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. Okay. I Good. suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, crests so are passed down the might have one. Or However, my mom might. Just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their okay. descendants will inherit it as well. But doesn't that cause crests to go, like, to become extinct unless you have, like, a buttload of children? Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. Yeah, so won't they, like, disappear? Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest, and you just happened to inherit it. That Could be. That's how a crest usually presents itself, after all. Uh, yeah, sure, let's find out. Yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. Okay, Hanneman. Now then, please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. Beep, 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 beep. What is this? <gasps> what is A that indeed? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? Hey, girl in my head, you, you know what this is? Can, can you help us here? To think there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. Sleeping? How okay. thrilling! <clears throat> Pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. Uh, okay. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. But for now, your work here is done. Hmm. 
Hi. What could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. Or perhaps. Just what in gonna... the world? Okay. Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to... Okay, I'm just gonna just gonna go. Let me know if you find anything. Ding. All right, here we go. You can now select the protagonist's office academy. Okay, cool. With each moon, professors of the officers' academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. Got it. It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. Gotcha. Pay careful attention to your schedule so that you may thoughtfully plan what the lesson planning. To do each month. Uh, okay. So, hey, we've got a day off. Uh, I guess I'm doing this. Let's see if I can, uh, other thing that I get, inventory? <laughs> what, what was it? I totally forgot. It was in options. Uh, Roster. Oops. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Uh, abilities. Wow, there's a lot. There's a lot here to look at. Very cool. Um, let's see. Holes. Everyone's happy. That's good. Okay, well, let's explore. I would like to explore the monastery. You're not imagining things. That girl's real, apparently. Oh, unit appearance. Uh... So how do I look now? Look, it's me. Very official. And then the bulletin board shows quest information. Interesting. Okay. Oh man, there is so much to do. Uh, hi, Seth. These are the students' quarters. To better help you supervise them, you also have a room here. Your room is here at the end. Got Common it. Students also reside on the first floor. While the second is primarily for students of noble birth. How As a astute. rule, we try to avoid discrimination based on social status here. You try, huh? But the nobility can be quite insistent when it comes to matters of propriety. I'm sure they are. Speaking Way to give it. It would be best for you to avoid improper conduct. I expect you to set a good example for the students. Freaking parents always trying to pull strings. Hey, my friends. Some believe the dignity of the Empire rests on the results of the mock battle. That's an overstatement, of course. Still, we must do our best to prevail. You should take the time to learn each student's abilities. Perhaps some extra lessons and training sessions are in order? Uh, maybe. You look as if you have no idea what's going on. I here. don't. I know my way around, so I'm happy to help you find your footing. Oh, interesting. Um... You should take your time okay. when speaking with everyone, but if you use them without planning ahead. Okay, okay, got it. Agreed to put it plain. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I know, I know a lot of these things. Um, the my facilities. Has some exception. For example, you can enjoy I did my research. Your students at the dining hall. Well, I suggest visiting the very... Dimitri and Claude are the leaders of the other two houses. When we take the field, it would be better. Okay. Done. Um, looks like I got some quest stuff over here. Might as well take that. Oh, Professor! Have you adjusted to life at the Academy yet? Me? I'm still not used to it. I'm not one for all this studying and training. I'm sure you're not, Hilda. 
I have heard a lot about you. Right, uh, right. Okay, I guess I can't go through there. So what is this? The dormitory. Yeah, these are where the students are. Very good. Hi, hi friends. Um, greenhouse and fishing pond, got some activities here. I've got like one activity point, right? Hi, fish keeper. Oh, fishing has not been unlocked yet, okay. Hey, look, there's a there's a quest thing. Hi. Hello there, Professor. Well, I call you that, but I am afraid I am not a student here myself. Uh, yeah. My We're gonna visit you. My brother would not be pleased if he heard you saying such things. The monastery is kind enough to provide a sanctuary for my brother and I. He's the only family I have. Okay. What's my quest? Might you help me with a favor? Uh, sure. Fishing sounds good. Oops. Oh, okay. Dining hall. Of course, we got Hungry Boy over there. Um, let's do some fishing. Why not? Uh, yeah. So, begin fishing, select a bait, we'd see silhouette, you want to catch, but they're okay, okay. I press the A button, circles overlap. Uh, okay. Cool. Whew. Timing. Yeah, got it. Woo! Easy. I did it. Hey, Flane. I got your fish for you. You have helped me so much. Woo! Thank you. What do I have forgiveness for? I hope you know I am having great abilities for reading and writing. With sadness, I still have struggles <laughs> speaking. I like what she says, she's speak, funny. Uh, of speech are causing a burden. I hope you will have forgiveness. Not a burden at all. Um let go this way. Yes. Uh where is that uh quest? Up That's here? So. Oh, Sylvain. Hi. Well, there's Dorothea, Hilda, and Mercedes. Lady Reyes uh, quite Sylvain. Too. And I must admit, I've even checked out Professor Manuel. Why are you telling me this? You know, Professor, I think I'm going to like it at the Officers Academy. There are beautiful girls as far as the eye can see. <laughs> um, can I get another teacher over here to, to take care of this guy? Professor, sure. I've got a small favor to ask. Uh... Alright. So is sharing meal with others in the dining hall, you can even treat someone to their favorite meal. Cool. I will make sure to do that. What's this other quest before I move on? Oh, hello. Let me know when you are hungry. I will make you a quality meal, as thanks for your service to his highness. I have a request. Grow plants. Okay, yeah. So I got the greenhouse is over there, and then I got to, I'll do the greenhouse one first. Excuse me, can I talk? There we go. Uh, yeah, let's do some gardening. So I can do crops, plant command, okay, cultivate command to pay the 
the uh, greenhouse keeper will look after it. Uh, okay. Yep. I would like to plant the selected seeds. Sure. Infused with magic, why not? My thanks. I did it. Okay, now let's talk to the dining staff and invite someone. Hello, dining staff. Uh, what's today special? Oh, one of those. Um, I'm going to take one of these three, obviously. Hmm. I'll share a meal with Edelgard, I guess. Dorothea would be fun. I mean, either of these, or any of these would be fun. Her because she wouldn't want to be there, and her because she would really want to be there, which are uh, both interesting. But I'm going to do that. Oh, I wait, I can choose more than one. Uh -huh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, yeah, let's... Let's do, let's do that. Oh, I love this meal. How did you know? Uh, dining staff told me, actually. I think I like this, but it's been a while, so I'm not sure. Hey, let's go. I leveled up. Whoop, whoop. You have no more activity points, yes, and more monthly funds. If only that's how it worked. Just by doing things, I can just I can get more energy and more money. Uh, you will want to finish exploring when your activity points run out. Let's help them. So, okay. Nice. I knew I could count on you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Done exploring. Here we go. Oh, Ferdinand's birthday. Happy birthday, Ferdinand. Um, shoot, which one is Ferdinand? Uh, oh no, he's a he's the um he's the cocky dude. Yeah, yeah, sure, why not? Much appreciated. Hmm. Mission time. Let's do it. Rivalry of the houses. I think this will be our uh, our the last thing we do here is we take care of this battle. <sighs> I'm not gonna choose the auto battle option. What do you take me for? White clouds, chapter one. Here we go. It's finally time for the mock battle. This is my chance to measure your worth as an instructor. Do you think you can rise to the challenge? Uh, absolutely. So confident. This will be interesting. Each of us has undergone strict training. We're prepared for anything that comes our way. That means there's no need to hold back. Show us what you're capable of. Absolutely. Hey there. Did we miss our invite to this strategy meeting? No, no worries. We'll just join in now. Simply tell me your weaknesses and you're welcome to stay. Oh. -ho. Is there enough time to cover them all? Oh, burn. Had a girl, Ada Guard. So you can't win unless you know my weakness. Poor princess. You really should believe in yourself more. I spare no effort in pursuing victory. As a master of schemes, I should think you would understand. Schemes? Dang. Me? I have no idea what you're talking about. I plan to fight fair and square as ever. Sure you do. Words, fair Claude. and square from Claude can only be a bad omen. Ha, Your indeed. Your haven't known me for very long, but you already have me figured out, don't you? No need to poke fun. I will fight with honor. That said, I will fight to win. Yes, and the same is true of us. Right, Professor? I don't intend to lose. If that is how you feel, then I will not hold back. Oh, Let's not kill each other, precious. though. Looks like you and the students have become fast friends. While I am pleased that you are taking the initiative to acquaint yourself with the students, 
I'm afraid it's about time for the faculty strategy. Oh, there's a faculty strategy meeting. Ah, Very good. Time flies. In that case, I'll see you later. Bye. Professor, be careful out there. Okay, let's do it. Uh, I have no idea how this is going to work, to be honest. Um, are we going to like, is it, are they just going to be three armies that are going to be moving? Oh. Okay. Battle preparations. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, it can only... Hmm. Hubert has nothing. Uh, let's... I don't know, man. Um... I'm gonna put... Veteran. Can only deploy five. Uh, training sword. Training sword. Just bow. That might be good. Uh, what's the status? Okay. So. Persecution complex. What does that do again? Ah, interesting. Uh, and he has the opposite. Like when he's at full HP, he does a lot. Uh, so we got sword, axe, and yeah, magic. Uh, I guess I'll do Ferdinand just to keep it a little bit balanced. Yeah. Uh, nah, that's what I want, I think. All right. So these are all the enemies. We've got men, or we've got the teachers there. They're there, you can break those. This is interesting, they're on healing tiles, huh? Man, so many choices, I only got five units. Uh, let's talk about it. give you something just in case you need to use something other than your miasma uh, let's take a what are your, even your skills Hubert what do you got I can take uh oh, we all have iron swords. Oh, I have two iron swords. Where did I get two iron swords? Let me take one of those. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me take that. There we go. And then uh who else am I deploying here? You guys all good? Oh for wait. For Nan. All right, I'm gonna have to, uh, might as well save too. All these battle preparations get kind of lengthy here. Let's see. Finally, let's, I think this'll be all right. Let me switch that. There we go. Sure, let's do that. I'm ready. 
Let's do it. All right. The mock battle is finally here. Will you lead us to victory? They better. I'm sure you already understand, but the house that defeats the other two is declared the winner. Incidentally, I'll be overseeing this mock battle, so listen well if you want to win. Okay. You ensure defeated will not be permanent loss. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Uh, so it'd be nice if we can move right up to that zone I and not uh, be taken out. But we can't get to the forest. She can get to the forest. So I'm going to move her there. Move myself Stay here. Focused. Send Hubert as support there. I am Ferdinand von Iron. And I can move you over here. And Petra, I'm gonna have you over here. Oops. Nope. This here we go. Alright. That's my turn. None of your shallow tactics are required, Claw. Ignatz and I will dismantle the opposition. Me? But I'm not ready. <sighs> Are you making light of our new professor? If you drop your guard, you're gonna get hurt. Ash, can you move to the front lines? I want to lure the enemy this way. Got it, your highness. Leave it to me. Once you finish preparing, make your move. Did you, Mercedes? Keep our enemy occupied until then. I'm on it. Oh my. All right, here we go. Don't get hit. Ah, you got hit. Ha! Get wrecked. All right, so we should be able to take these guys out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get Hubert to attack. Miasma. These freaking archers, man. All right, uh, let's try this. Um, yeah, that should be good. Uh, he can't, yeah, he can't attack back, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna send Hubert behind to attack, and that should be a full hit. Bye. So strong. Have to do better next time. Yeah, you better. Hardly worth my time. Good. And now I can eliminate these guys. So first, let's take this guy out. Ooh, that's not gonna. That's not gonna kill, huh? What if I attack? Ah, uh, oh, down to one, man. What if I send Patrick to attack? That's not good. All right. Well, I won't be able to take all of them out. It looks like. Um. I think I'm gonna send. Uh, I can't even, well, uh, I think what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to move here, attack with the Iron Lance. Ooh, actually, hold on, I can, uh, can I move through the forest? No, I can't. I'll do this first, because he won't hit me for it uh, very Ah, sucker. And then I'll let him get the kill here. Keep him uh, fully healed. Bye. I've lost? Oh, unthinkable. Yeah, bye, Lawrence. And then I'm going to send her up to get first hit on this guy.
hate to leave her by herself, but that's just the way well it's going to be. Teach. I may have to take this seriously after all. All right. Yeah, he's going to move and take a shot. Sorry, Petra. Okay. Now, let's see if I can take Oops. Let's see if I can take him out in one shot here. Or do I have to do two people? <sighs> to one again. Okay. Might be able to actually use my axe for greater attack power. Yeah, I could do that to 76%. You know, I'll, I'll risk it for the biscuit here. Got him. I've lost. The new professor is quite a commander. You fought well. Yeah, level two or level three. I'm not setting a very good example. Yeah, only give me two points. Boo. Okay, so they're gonna come up. Um, so I will. They're not. They can't attack quite yet. So let's do this. I think I want to go ahead and. Uh, where should I go? I'm gonna take care of this house, I think, first. Oops. Explicitly telling me not to. I guess we'll, we'll do this then. Oh, let's move up into these trees. I didn't think about that. Let's do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Are you really gonna fight two houses at once? <laughs> An impressive display of confidence. This is a good opportunity for us. Let's forge ahead. Yeah, move. Go for it. Move closer. Move into my range. Oh. Okay. Oh. Alrighty then. Well. I think it's best. Uh, we set up some, uh, some of our forces into this area. These areas over here. Um, I get that again. So let's put, uh, let's put Edelgard over here. Put Violet behind her. And I'll move guys over. We'll take this house first and wait for the remainder to get here. And she can move over here. So Edelgard's my bait. Ow. Excuse me. The do. Appreciate that. All right, so we've got a little bit of time. We need to take these guys out. So, uh, start with this. Start with this. Oof, okay, that's not good. JK, not gonna do that. Okay, let's start with some magic to whittle them down. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, yep. Very good. Nice job. I'm gonna take Petra. To, uh, I'll do, should do Edelgard to attack. Um, it's risky. 
risky business there. I'll do this. Iron sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll work. Got him. One more success. And then I'm gonna move my character up to a get an attack on the uh, bow. Let's see, what does she have as items? Does she have vulner? She does. Okay, that's good. I might use that. And let's attack. Easy. Easy peasy. You should be honest. Okay, and now, um, did I use her keyboard again? Okay, so let's move. Uh, he's probably gonna be real, real good. Yeah, I better, uh, better heal, but I'm gonna move up. Actually, uh, da, da, da. yeah, I will move up. And then I'll use my Vulner. Let him get his first attack. They're going to start moving. Alright, here we go. So. First things first, range user to get a good hit. And, uh, hold on. Ooh, he can get there. What's his, uh, range? Yeah, let's do that. Move him out of range. Go ahead and attack. Oh, that's not going to do it. All right. Well, let's uh, let's move myself then. That'll do it. Done. You're a tough opponent, but I refuse to yield. Do not fool yourself into believing I will hold back. It's uh, going to do all your health with 100%. I don't know what to tell you, friend. I've gotten no strength. I've gotten all magic and like dexterity. My training was insufficient. I am so sorry, everyone. The rest is up to you. Okay. Uh, he's gonna go and smack me up. So, yeah, with Mount Nine at seventy-five percent. Yeah, that's, that's not gonna be fun for me. So, I'm gonna go ahead and post up behind here. Uh, this is a good place to wait, Hush but I'm going to use a vulnerary here. Get some of my health back. I will prevail. And yeah. I'm good. Let's see what our range is. Oops. Uh, here, let's turn that off, turn this on. Now I know where I don't want to be to get her Nosferatu in the face, so... But I need to take care of these guys first. I, I think my first you. order of business is to take care of uh, our archer friend Claude. So let's go and I think I'm going to make my first attack. Petra. Um, it looks like it's going to take three hits to take care of old Petra, or, or sorry, to take care of uh, Claude here. So let's see what we can make do. What's his attack going to be? He's got a good attack for sure. And then what's my 
attack and all blank. Okay. So it looks like I can do good with just um, myself and Hubert. He was 14. And he is 13. That will do it. So let's go ahead and start with that. Iron sword. Yep. Coming up with brilliant schemes that can handle, no problem. But I'm not much for fighting. Go easy on me. You know that was a joke, right? Jeez, <laughs> not so much as a smile. Yeah, uh, Stoke protagonist here. Sorry. Now let's see, I can move up. Attack. Oh! Not, not quite, huh? Well... Guess I have to do three hits. Um, yeah, I'll take care of that. Him to finish him off. 91%. Hope it hits. Got him. Hey, level up. Good job, Hubert. Eh? Gosh, I hate losing. I guess I'll just have to settle for cheering the others on. And then I'm going to move her up to get a good attack on her. Ooh, I get two. She has a hand axe, okay. Um, yeah, I think this will be all right. Now let's try something else first. Hmm. Could take that hit, potentially. It's gonna be 14. I can do 16 in two. So it's not gonna really matter. Because I'm going to be doing uh, uh, hitting in two strikes. So she's going to get the hit on me anyway. Eh, might as well just start with her. And she's not in danger of getting hit by uh, those brought two, so I think we're good. Oh, miss. That's a good miss. And now for the closer. Goodbye. Coach, was that really necessary? Failure yep. is not an option. It was, because failure is not an option. And she's going to come forward and use Nosferatu. Ah, didn't do it a whole lot. That's good. So now we got to take care of our good friend Manuela. Okay, Manuela, let's see what you got. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start. She's got magic, so she's going to hit both close and far tiles. Uh, let's start with... Um, let's start with the heavy hitter here. Ah, man. Um... Is a lot. I think she's gonna be my best bet, actually. Let's go, Petra. Um. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. He's got a hundred percent. Oh, he'll do it. How many do I have? I only have one miasma left. Uh, I think I better better take that shot. Let's go for it, Hubert. Well done. I nearly wound up a patient in my own infirmary. You worked hard for nothing. Yeah, Hubert, level three. This is harder than expected. Made it past Manuela, eh? I see now I must focus and then make my move. <sighs> Gotta get like all the way up to him. Alright. And then I'll move my 
yourself up? Yeah, so I just gotta run up and meet him. So this will allow me to kind of set up my units the way I want to. He's on a healing tile too. Use the vulnerary on you, but I'll use another one. Okay, so uh, not everyone's quite there to attack. So we need to spend one more turn getting everyone set up. Over here, and then Hubert, you're gonna go over here. And there we go. Okay, so now is the big challenge. He's got, uh, he's on a heal tile, which provides one defense. <sighs> okay. To start, I think I'm gonna go in with a. Uh, I can only, yeah, I can't. I can use a sword on him. Um, not gonna be great. Petro, what can you do here? Oof. Uh, she'll pretty much get the job then, actually. Let's see what I can do. Oh man, I can almost take him out. Uh, let's see what level am I? Level four, and then level two, level three, level one. Okay. So I'm just gonna do this here. Uh, Hubert, you can back me up. And then I'll move up and attack him. Correct, friend. And then I'm gonna send. Can she moved there. She can. Okay, so I'm gonna send Ferdinand to be the backup here, and then Edelgard will come around to the side and attack. It's gonna be 85. 85 percent. Got him. Yeah, gotta have, you know, actual battle experience to, you know, battle. I must get stronger. Yes, you do. All hey. Right, that's that. The winner of this mock battle is... The Black Eagle House. Ooh. We won. Even though it was just a mock battle, we defeated both houses masterfully. We did. Take pride in this victory, everyone. Hubert MVP. All right. Let's see if there's a cutscene after this. Which I'm sure there Excellent is. work today, Professor. Though our victory should come as no surprise. That was pretty easy. Yes, it was. Further proof that you're well qualified to guide the Black Eagles. That was impressive, Professor. I mean, uh, impressive. We gained a victory because of your great leadership. Well, what can I say? We certainly did. We all tried our best, of course, but we couldn't have won without you. I was curious what it would look like if you did not hold back, and you did not disappoint. <laughs> I dare say we owe our victory to Lady Ada. Oh, do we now? How so? For that battle, she was only a soldier following our professor's command. Sure, she was an incredibly powerful soldier. Don't worry about it too much, Linhart. All that matters is that we won. I'm all done with being on the battlefield, okay? You didn't even see the battlefield. I'd rather stay back than pursue victory out there. Yeah, I didn't put you on there for that reason. You're you good. You were all as ridiculous as always. We only managed to win because we worked together. This much is true. Was it something I said? Is it so odd, me talking about togetherness? If so, that perception must change. In fact, 
I'm canceling the festivities. <laughs> discuss this topic first. Uh, no, you kind of want the festivities. I'm kidding, of course. Okay, good. Come on, everyone. We've earned this celebration. Woo! All right. Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Gerald trained you well. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. I did. I'm so happy to hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. Okay. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the eagle and lion, which will take place during the eagle wyvern moon. And lion. So I'm fighting the lions. You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. I will do so. Don't worry about it. As for today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Oh, really? Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. Yes, ma'am. Uh, bandits? Those affiliated with Garrig Mach Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need. Regardless of social standing, Very well. students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. You we shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline. Understood. I will soon provide you with the necessary details sir, for yes, your sir. first mission. I told you now, I expect you would only forget, and I despise repeating myself. Wow, you don't think I can remember some simple orders, huh? I can sense something special within your heart. I have high hopes for you. Thanks. Bandits, they say. Uh, you again, you're awake. Do you recall when we first met? You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? Nope. Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked oh, well, to hear from me. I thought me. you were a dream figment, not a real figment. <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. Oh, goodness gracious. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. Uh, right. What is this nonsense? All I was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible. No one said anything about the Knights of Damn Saros being on our trail. You have proven yourself worthless, Ooh. distracted by something so trivial. Who's that evil I dude? I hoped you would achieve your goal oh. despite the setback. But now a child of the Knight's former captain is in play. How interesting. Hey, this isn't what I agreed to. I oh boy. Hiring a as a professor. What was that woman thinking? Are you listening? Hey, I'm a good How professor. What are you talking this? about? You die. Oh boy. What? Underestimating the knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. The road to eternal torment awaits you all. Oh now boy. I must locate your replacements. Wait! Get back here! Damn you! Oh, Costas, you in bad shape. Maybe you shouldn't have been a bandit. Maybe that was your first mistake. Alright. So I think I'm gonna leave it here. It's about, yeah, I'm almost about two hours and 15 minutes in. Um, One, white clouds, heartstring moon, familiar scenery. Um, but just some uh, quick, oh, in I guess, of the yep, saints, after this. Births or deaths took place under this moon. The people performed music once beloved by those divine beings. Whether by harp, by flute, or voice alone, Joyous melodies are shared between farmers as they sow their seeds across the vast plains of Teotihuacan. Oh, ain't that Tom. nice? So each moon has its own little reason. That's cute. So anyway, um, if you look below, you'll see I've rearranged some of my stuff. You'll see uh, my uh, Twitter and Discord and Switch brand code down below. Um, just a reminder, I've got my charity stream coming up on August 10th. Um, I'll have the link to that uh, fundraiser page up relatively soon. Um, the, obviously, the event is August 10th, but I've been working on getting the fundraising page all up and running. It's going to be awesome. Um, 
And in the meantime, if you want to support the stream, you can uh, donate to Streamlabs, uh, donate at streamlabs.com slash Mr. Eastman Plays. Um, if you want to support the stream, make sure to follow, subscribe to uh, on Twitch. If uh, if you're on watching this on YouTube, make sure to su uh, subscribe and turn on notifications. All those things will make sure that you see when I'm live every time I'm live. Um, if you are watching this uh, not live, then you can still do those things. You'll see when I'm live. I am kind of planning on playing through this more on stream. Um, I don't know if I'll... Uh, I might play a little bit off stream, but I come back to do some specific missions later. Uh, we'll see how it goes. There's a lot of games I have planned to play. Um, so there might be enough to where I don't need to play this anymore. We'll see. Um, but uh, if you want updates and little things that I post, you can also follow me on Twitter. That's a, I've been trying to use that a little bit more, posting some some old Splatoon uh, clips and stuff like that. But with that said, uh, thank you so much for watching and supporting the stream. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Goodbye, everyone.